A good pair of shoes is in need, as we often take that for granted. So many children in San Antonio, for them, that need is quite real. KSET Community is continuing its effort to make sure kids have proper footwear by teaming up with the San Antonio Police Department to collect new shoes of all sizes. This is from toddlers to teenagers for the annual Share the Shoes Drive. This year's Share the Shoes will benefit the local nonprofit Good Samaritan Community Services, and that's where we find Tiffany Huertas this morning. Tiffany, good morning to you. Good to see your smiling face. Talk to us about this organization. Good morning, Mark and Stephanie. This organization is amazing. They're providing so many different services to this community. Just check it out. This is one of the rooms here at the Good Samaritan. They have an early childhood services program, a youth and teen program, and they even have a senior center here. It's incredible. Now to talk more about the different services, we have Brandine Flores with the nonprofit. And good morning, Brandy. Can you tell us a little bit about background about this organization. Good morning. We have a long history with our community. So we were founded by the Episcopal uh, Church of, of, I'm sorry, we were founded by the Episcopal Church West Diocese of Texas. And we have served for over 70 years here in our community, serving the 78207 zip code. So we provide different services for our community, different programs, resources, and tools. We even provide meals for our community. So we serve a wide uh, age range from six weeks all the way to our senior center. So in doing that, we believe in providing services that we work with people's strengths, so that way they feel empowered to then have a lasting impact with our community. And this is in the west side. Talk to us about the importance of these services here in the west side. So our zip code is the most underserved zip code here in San Antonio. So providing resources has a very lasting impact. We want to empower the community so that they feel that they can get out of this zip code and even come back and offer resources to the zip code so that they can help um, better the community. And the services didn't stop completely during the pandemic, right? No. Um, during the pandemic, we still had a drive through meal service because we realized that oftentimes the students here, they only have the one meal that's provided there at school. So we provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks for those students as well as our senior center. So we had drive through services and for our community that does not have technology, we did have, we opened our parking lot with hotspots Incredible. and we also opened classrooms so that they could use computers here. The magnificent things happening in yes. the West Side, that's <laughs> incredible. Talk to us about what does it mean for you all to get these shoes this holiday season? So partnering with organizations like SAPD is incredible for us. So for us, it's about a child opening gifts on Christmas morning and one of those gifts being a pair of shoes. Um, it allows them the opportunity to run around and be a kid without worrying about not having those resources available to them. So partnering with organizations like SAPD this holiday season means that we're able to provide resources that would otherwise be unavailable to our community. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. You. We'll talk a little bit more in the next half hour. <laughs> thank you. Um, take, out, take a look at this. There's still a lot of time to donate shoes this holiday season. Right now on your screen, you can look at the different locations where you can drop off the new shoes, and you have until November 30th to drop them off. Last year, KSAC Community collected over 2,000 pairs of shoes, and we want to exceed that this year, of course. You can also make a monetary donation at the website, again, to support this nonprofit, Good Samaritan Community Services. Back to you, Mark and Stephanie.